So your excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you that President Ola Ahmed Tengu means well for the nation, means well for the people, means well for the Southerners. Thank you for the compliment. the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria permit me to be of water scarcity in Enugu City more than 40 years. The government and the good people of Enugu State and also on behalf of my brothers in the Southeast governments bid you welcome to the hometown of Nibu. We bid you welcome to the historic city of uh, this country. As your excellency will know, Enugu State is a consequential state and has played various historic roles in the development of our country. So I want to truly bid you welcome. It is indeed also my honor to welcome all our invited guests to this occasion of the launch of the Niger Delta Power Holding Company Innovative Light of Nigeria project. Thank you all for honoring this invitation to flag off the project in the Southeast. Again, I want to most especially express our honor to welcome his Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to Enugu on this Spain's visit as the Vice President. We are certainly proud to have you here in our midst today. It is no secret how busy your schedule typically is, but we know it is even easier still on this occasion during your other engagements in our band today. For you to be here with us and align your professionalism and deep interest in the progress of the private sector. While this may not be surprising given your background in the private sector, it is still most hard working and we do not take it for granted. Thank you, my friends. Today, we are flagging off what is, in my view, a new dawn for the power sector in the Southeast. And one of the most innovative initiatives in the power sector, the Light of Nigeria project. This project is of critical importance since it deals with the power sector, which I believe is pivotal to economic growth. Indeed, if we fixed power, a lot of other sectors would have fallen into place. This project ensures efficient dispatch of power to the largest consumer via bilateral sales agreement, removing the existing bottlenecks of bulk purchase and arrangement through NET. And it leverages on a winning buyer, winning seller's structure. The program will certainly bring improved access to reliable and affordable power to the Southeast. It was on footnote in solidarity. First point, Your Excellency, is to join my voice in welcoming you to the political capital of the Southeast.
for this initiative. I want to say that enough of the book of lamentations. I mean, I listened to the first few speeches and quite a lot of lamentations, lamentations. Let's move from lamentations to solutions now. And I want to believe that this session, at the end of it, will come out with actionable, executable agenda to provide power to our people. We will know the problems, Honorable Minister. On Saturday, you were enumerated all of them. I almost had a heart attack. Uh, the MD, long list of them, and so on. Let's focus on getting the solutions here. In Anambra, we have a mantra that the solution is here. And within this room, and with all the people gathered here, at the end of this session, so we come up with action and And I say that I don't want to, I mean, go back to the issue of the importance of electricity. It's a driver for everything. You know, it's like the American Express, you don't live up without it. Nothing else will happen. Yes, and I want to commend the National Assembly and their governors. We have done something as part of the solution, and which is removing electricity from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent legislative list, so that governors in their respective states can now create a viable competitive electricity markets. That's part of the solution. And I want to commend everyone who has played a role in making this to happen.
When we initiated the pilot project with the business roundtable in the Agbara industrial area on October 12, 2023, we engaged major investors and industrialists from Agbara Ogun State and neighboring clusters in Oyo and Lagos states. We were sure of our direction in pursuit of the priorities set by His Excellency, President Bola Ahmad Tinim. And the dream under construction attracts us to this historic city of corners and industries. The Light of Nigeria project powers the hope of our industrialists and serves as a long-awaited solution to the power supply deficit that has undermined our economy over the past decades. So this intervention isn't a ribbon cutting charade. This is a calculated endeavor to re-engineer our economy. And whatever we design to oil the wheels of our industries is futile unless we stabilize the Nigerian electricity supply industry. Power is a senior power for any industrial capital. And we'll talk from now to eternity about industries. If there is no power, we are just engaging in exercise and utility. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I bear the mandate of President Tinubu to assure you that the project transcends electric. The South East is an industrial powerhouse. And its economic fortunes remains a critical priority of President Bola Ahmed Tinim. The governor of Enugu supported the figure of 27 million of the people living in the South East. I beg the people. The inhabitants of the South East might not be less than 35 million. And if South East works, Nigeria works. Ali al Amin Mazrui is the risk of sounding repetitive. Describe the evils as Nigerian Jews, geographically mobile, economically enterprising, and educationally ambitious. Mark of the hope. Beyond having the hope of the nation here in our midst. The hope of the nation rests with the evil. We are mightily proud of the evil. It's a very proud and industrious people. I feel from a struggle. Give me land, give land to the president when the world comes in Enugu because Enugu is home. The practicality of this project is woven into the public of any efficiencies, illustrious track record, a testament to the exceptional collaboration with esteemed partners such as TCN, EEDC, Enerix One Limited, and Gen Source Power Limited. This alliance has been pivotal in achieving the success we proudly acknowledge today. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I had to intervene about a week or more for the MD of the MD PHC over some days. Then one of the discourse is point. I said, no, we cannot afford to cut off this house is from power supply. The little we are getting must be sustained and even jack of power. So Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I can assure you that President Ola Ahmed Tinubu means well for the nation, means well for the people, means well for the thousands. And the governors, you may like to demonize them, but the governors of the South East are some of the best who have looked at the larger interests of the nation over and beyond the local interests. And I believe in the fullness of time, posterity will judge Dr. Peter Mba kindly. Posterity will judge Governor Hope Udo Dima kindly. 
Osente to judge Professor Chukuma Solido kindly. Osente will judge Five Honorable Francis Mukuru Kagame very kindly. <laughs>